Hey, somebody just asked me a question that I thought I would do a quick video to make sure that you have an understanding. Uh, that's about ratio tables, double number lines, and tape diagrams. So we've been using these a little, we did a whole week where we did the uh, inspirational week of ratios, but I want to make sure that you've got that. So let's talk about uh, Mr. Brennan walks. eight miles in two hours. So that's a statement right there. Um, and we can use that as the basis for all of those. So the ratio table is going to look like, um, I'm going to say miles and hours. And we've been using these a lot, so since second, third grade, I'm thinking. So he walks how many miles? He walks eight miles in two hours. And so this is all about equivalent ratio. So whatever I do to these numbers, it's always they're going, always going to have the same comparison. Let's go for the unit ratio. Why not? So in one hour, he's going to walk four miles. But I can keep going. How about in in six hours. Well, I went two times three to get six, so eight times three is 24. So this is a ratio table, <clears throat> excuse me, and we can see how we would make a graph down here. Every graph has a tail, so it's going to have Mr. Brennan walks up here and down here. It's going to have intervals, and over here it's going to have intervals on these two axes right here, and this is going to be the time in hours, and this is going to be the distance in miles. So, and we're going to be able to say in two hours he walks eight, and it's going to be a graph that's going to go like that. Similarly, uh, in a double number line, it's very close. In fact, let me just make it underneath here. Uh, let me change colors because. Well, because I can. I have two number lines like that, and they go on forever because they're number lines. And I'm going to label them the same. I'm just going to label them miles is the first one, and hours is this one. And I'm just going to go right here. Uh, in one hour, he walks four miles. And two hours, he walks eight miles. Three hours, 12. So this is going to go on like that, and that would equal the same, the same graph, right? It's very, very, it's exactly the same. So the last one that you used a bunch before, um, but not so much this year. Well, let's pick a different color. Let's pick this. That's exciting. Um, not sure I could go for that. Because that's in the tape diagram. So if I have this tape diagram, this big chunk of tape and it is uh, eight miles and I divide that into two pieces. This is going to be four miles and this is going to be four miles. Let's pretend I made those the same. And this whole thing is two hours. It's going to be the same thing here. Then this is two hours and this is one hour and one hour. So <clears throat> that again is going to lead you to the same graph. I'm not sure if this is good for our arc week. I would probably use something all that, like this, although when I used my Google Sheets, um, it's going to come up with something more like that where I'm going to go time in seconds and then I'm going to have Michael Phelps distance in meters and then the shark distance in meters distance in m's okay and so this zero 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 one time and then whatever these are and that's going to lead to two different things so you're going to have two different lines one for the human one for the shark so i hope that makes it clear 
Uh, if not, please shoot me another question.